Hello everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing fine. You know, it's kind of a, a strange scenario. Today in my video, if y'all remember, didn't talk any much because I was in a real big hurry and I didn't have time. But earlier today when I was doing the video when it was daylight, we didn't see no steam coming up. And that's kind of odd, because you always see it when it's on, when it's open, you see it. Now, I'm just wondering if they may have turned it off for a short period of time today. Just, I guess, because, for whatever reason. It is getting dark over there, so it's... It's almost 10 o'clock where I'm at, so where they're at, it's getting dark. But I figured I'd make this video before it did go dark because there is no videos. There are no videos as of right now. And there is no photos for right now. Now, if I went to researching a little bit more, I could probably find some this or that. And, but we're not interested in none of that. We want to see the dam. We want to see the construction of what's going on. And we want to see the progress. And they're cutting it off. Or cutting down whatever you want to say as if they may have something they just don't want you to know now I'm not saying that's what they're doing but hey anything's possible now isn't it they're no different than any other corporate entity are they not and you can see the sky is pretty in blue what little bit of sun which the sun looks kind of high there why it looks so dark I don't know but that's kind of weird that the sun's so high unless the moon's up that high we're seeing the moon 10 o'clock here to 3 hours behind it should be 6 o'clock there so the sun should be up kind of high I guess it should be I guess fairly decent, I guess, but the sun's shining on the camera and it's making everything a little darker. Because when it backs out, it looks pretty good, but then the sun is on it a little bit too hard and you can tell that the sun's over in that area up above, or we'll see it in just a second, you'll see it, when it flips again. But it's a little odd that we're not getting the updates that we were getting. Um, maybe I'm bitching a little bit, maybe, I, I don't know, but it, it was nicer. As you can see, that the sun is up here, right above us here. That's why you're getting that glare, and I guess the glare itself is shining on the light, and it's not a, the best camera in the whole wide world, so, I mean, it works for what they're doing and it does a good job but you know it's still just a little odd that we're not getting any updates and let's go check and as you can see this is the uh, huh. uh, we created May the 7th Uploaded on a May 13th. Wow. You see what I'm saying, folks? <coughs> the photo itself was taken on May 7th. And that's just really uncalled for. By the time we get them, they, they're, they've done something new that we didn't get to see. We haven't got anything lately except for these... 
meetings, which I have no, nothing wrong with having some photos of the meeting, but why don't they put that under meetings over here, over here on all these charts, make one for meetings, and the construction part, the, the, the damaged part of the spillway, which is this, the spillway, why don't they just put the spillway photos in here where they're working on it? Instead of all this other crap that they've been uploading the crap of lately. See, they, they keep uploading that. Now, before they were giving us a lot of photos. See, now we're down to where they were giving us nothing but updates and photos. And then a couple of pictures. But at the beginning, man, they were keeping us up to date with the photos. But not anymore. And these photos, this particular one was taken on March 16th and they uploaded on March 17th. You, you see my point? I, I mean, it's just it's just not right. I'm sorry. Just it just ain't right. They ain't updated nothing since yesterday. Is basically what they're saying here. I, I might have told you wrong on this picture. I, I did. Those photos were taken on May 12th and uploaded uh, on May 12th. So we ain't had a photo since May 12th. That's two days ago. We had a photo. We had a video. They had nothing. You see my point? This is what I'm talking about. Uh, it's something to bitch about. I'm sorry. Now over here on uh, DWR's YouTube channel, which you see, California DWR. Over here, there is no updates. They put two in one, one one day and one the next. And this one hardly showed anything and this one showed just a little more and then they put up a meeting two days ago that's when we got our last photos as well yeah they taking the weekends off I'll give you that I'll give you that one well what about the other five days a week This is all we got last week, up to there. That was a week ago. So, you know, and, and these is a whole bunch of videos explaining after they did this one, and that one's two weeks old, and this one is two weeks old. We've done nothing new since these two and these two. Well on this one. We've had five in the last two weeks. We were getting one a week almost. I mean a week, one every two, about three days. Now that the main street, main, main, the mainstream affection ain't as good for them anymore, they're stopping or they were told to stop because when you do a search for Orville Dam spillway or just the Orville Dam it doesn't matter you, you, you can do a search and pretty much this is all you're going to get and it's just crazy. And if you search this one, then you get a few videos come out. But, hey. I mean, really? And nobody uses the search. Not, not really. But, this is a 180,000 search results. People are still talking about it. Still, people are still looking for it. So why aren't they giving out information? 
And where's all the people that were going? Now I know he's out of town. Not who I'm that ain't the only person I'm talking about. There's other people that live over there. Why isn't anybody trying to get their way over there so they can do some videoing? Guys, we need it to be able to bring information to the rest of the world. Because they're not. Hell, they don't even report the uh, uh, meetings when they're supposed to have one. Like this one right here. They're supposed to have a meeting tomorrow on the 15th. And I ain't quite sure what all this is right here, but uh, I'm sure some of you do. Or the people that live there know. The ones that's been going to the meetings would know. And I don't know. That's a bunch of junk. And then this was on May 11th. So see there's no updates. They don't even talk about it over here anymore like they were. I don't know. It's just me talking, folks. I, I'm just a little di disturbed and they're not giving us more information, that's all. It does look as if the snowpack is still melting off. Melting off slowly. It's not doing it no rapid speed like everybody was trying to, you know, make it a seem that it was going to be a drastic occurrence. And some of you have seen this right here, right? Y'all do know that this is a slant going down this way, right? And on the other side of this, it goes down that same way down to the bottom. In other words, they built a pyramid dam. And this being like a hill like that over there, this catches dirt. Okay, dirt will accumulate on this dam. Mold will also accumulate on this dam. And it's probably been there for years. And what they might ought to do in the long run, totally, would be, you know, kind of like a, uh, what's them little clay things that, uh, that you put seeds on and you water it and it grows and it's a, a pot, you know, a little clay pot or a pig or uh, they got a name of for the life of me I just can't remember. That's kind of what you see right here. That's all that is. Would particles and dirt build up on the dam, dust, uh, bird shit. You, you name it, it all turns into nothing more than dirt, waste. It's just material, rot, leaves, you name it. How does leaves get there? Oh, oh, they blow from over here and from back over here and they get on there and they stick to something and then they rot and it grows dirt. It makes dirt. Everything goes back to dust, including you. So that dirt, that dust, turning back to dirt, but turns a place for a seed to start from a bird that's seen a worm or seen a bug and eat in them. They had some grass seed that they ate. They poop it out on the ground, it starts growing. So, even if there is a drain, a crack, or hole, or drainage line in here, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because all of this is dirt, and rock, and cement, and you got the same thing. Okay, this is a line here. Let's go way back here. It goes down like that, right? Now, this side goes down 
like that. Let's imagine that this level goes straight across here like that. Oh, that wasn't supposed to do that. I don't know why it did. But that's the bottom floor of the water. Okay. Now we're not doing this 3D. We're drawing on a, 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 an image. So it would go down to here. Just like this is going down to the bottom here, which I didn't draw quite right. But it's like that. That's the pyramid on this side and this side. That's a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt, a lot of concrete, a lot of rebar, a lot of piping, a lot of structural integrity in there. It's been there for how many years, folks? A long time. Since the 50s or so. So all you're seeing here, which has also been reported, that this has been there for years. Okay? Well, if it's been there for years, uh, then you got to know that it got wet and it turned green. Like most mold does. It gets wet and it turns green like I showed y'all in that tree we got a little rain yesterday I don't know if it was enough to make that tree grow but if it turns green because I'm gonna have to go over there this week I know if it turned green I will video it again and when it does turn green, I will show it to you. Whether we're talking about something entirely different, this all works out and everything's great and wonderful. But this is grass. Grass, mold, weeds, wheat. You name it, it could be almost anything. I don't see, it's not close enough for me to see if it's a vine could be a vine. Y'all seen how vines will grow up the side of a building from the woods over here and it could be growing across. And then the leaves fall off of it and catches on the top side. <coughs> catches on the top side of the vine, fills up with dirt and then grass starts growing on it. Two the things. You got 30 or 40 feet right there. Was that 700 feet tall? I mean, 800 foot tall. So you got maybe that might even be 100 foot. That might be just a whole line of grass that started growing. Who the hell knows? Or weeds, or a, a weeded vine. You know, the weeds that grow like grass, like certain grasses, and it kind of has fillers, and it just grows and grows and grows, and it keeps spreading could be like that it's not nothing to worry about folks it's not going to collapse because of that grass or mold it just ain't gonna it's too much you would have to have a leak I mean a leak and know it was coming from over here from the water side and not from inside the structure from a drainage line that they running off water because they got something in there they want to run water out of. You don't know what's inside here. None of you do. You're only speculating when you do. You're only speculating to say that this is going to blow up. Sorry, I don't believe it. If this dam was went from here and it went straight down like that it didn't have this hill going at this angle and this just went straight down okay and over here on this side it went straight down I know that if it had it on the side then I'd be kinda worried you know why cause then he got no strength coming off this side of the dam and this side of the dam all this down here dirt but right here, all you got is concrete and, and, and stuff. 
You ain't got no rock build up and dirt build up and massive area, areas to create a major dam like this. This right here, this ain't like the Hoover Dam. It ain't. Built entirely different. And this is a whole lot taller. You know that too. But I'm just talking. And I'm just showing you some things that I see. It's like this photo. It looks pretty and green. Looks like grass to me. Nothing to y'all. Just looks like dirt on the side and it's growing grass. Or it's mold. You know, you got a hill. Let's draw another line. This is a hill up here. We all know it's a hill. And I'm going to draw it up sideways like this. And then you got little humps and, you know, you know, different little things like that. You got a low line area right here in this particular area. So then you start growing dirt. You're accumulating dirt. You know, or to, to get a little thicker. Well, then you start getting grass or mold or whatever growing on it. Probably started off as mold. Started catching more dirt. And then it started growing grass and weeds and everything else in it. And there you go. Hell, it gets much worse. They might have to go up there with a lawnmower and cut the shit. See my point? It's just, it's not nothing to worry about. It's, it's, it's not what you think it is. Or what you've heard on the internet that has scared people into believing that is the number one thing that's going to cause this dam to collapse. Oh, wow. This is part of the structure. Now, we were just talking about how rough the edge is, you know, going down in the angle of it. And you see lines like this, like that, and little this, that, and another, where water has run down the hill and it's created ripples. And the ripples catch dirt. Then it grows plants. Okay, they got a vent, they got a structure that's built in the side, <coughs> now this looks as if it's wet, but I don't believe that that's wet at all, I believe that's just dirt, that's probably a man somewhere where a man could actually walk out to that point on whatever, a platform, from working inside the dam, it's probably some inside structural thing where they can go in and look at the inside of the dam to check it. That's probably just an out vent for whatever the reason, for whatever it may be. That is not something that's going to cause us. It was designed to be there. It's not no round hole. It's not pouring out water. It ain't leaking. Not hundreds of gallons of water. Would y'all agree with that? Yeah, you would agree with that. I know you would. Because you see it for yourself. It's a man-made structure that was made in there. So, there you go. We're over here on my YouTube channel. And you can see lots of videos over here. And all you have to do is, in there you will see, at the end of this video, you will see a subscribe button. Over here. My website will be over here. Down at the bottom you'll see little windows. You'll see two windows with two different videos. If you hit the gearbox, which would be looks like that when you click on it 
a box will open. And when it does, <coughs> sorry guys, the little bit of rain we got made it a little better, but not a lot. It's too much pollen and smoke. But if you click on the gearbox after you subscribe, you know that there'll be a bell. When it shows you that you're there, you hit it. There's your bell, and if you hit the little square box, when you hit the gearbox and you hit the check mark for stuff to come to you, then the bell will look like this. It'll bling it up. Then you're supposed to get my feed in your inbox. So it'll come to you, you'll know when I upload a video in your feed. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, that's the way it's supposed to work, but it don't. I also noticed that the search engine doesn't work the way it's supposed to either. But that's another story of another color and another horse. But folks, that's all I got right now. There is nothing come up about anything about YouTube at uh, DWR or their photo page either. But before we go, let's just check it one more time. And as I, su as I suspected, no video, no photo. For this evening. We didn't do one other thing though. As of right now. They might be getting a little bit of showers. In the Sahara's. But there's not. Too much rain at this present time. As you saw. In the live feed a minute ago. That the sky was pretty in blue. At Orville Dam. Now, up around in here, up in the Sahara's, you're probably getting a little bit of rain, which is not going to be too terribly bad. We could. And, well, in some spots up there, they may even be getting some snow in the Sahara's right now. I wouldn't say they were getting a lot. But it could be getting a little. And it being, you know, it's late. <sighs> it being 7 o'clock there, it's probably cooling down quite a bit. It'll probably get a little cooler. And what little bit of rain they get, and that's probably putting a little bit of light snow in the Sahara's, which is just helps it to drain off on time and it says for 24 hours there hasn't been much rain it says three days there's no rain uh, this ain't working right that's 10 days it says jack shit on all of them which you never know. Could be right. Probably not. But also it says 10 days. And it looks as if Florida is not going to get nothing for 10 days either. Which kind of ain't good. Let's go back to rain accumulation. And let's pull this little thing across. This is Monday. Maybe a little bit of rain. This is Tuesday. Wednesday, maybe some more. Thursday. Wasn't even checking Florida. Go back to Wednesday. Nothing. Thursday, it looks as if Florida might get a little 
all of this area might get a little bit of moisture because of this high or low pressure system that's giving a little bit of precipitation coming in from the Atlantic. Thursday, see what Friday morning looks like. Friday looks about the same. Saturday looks like it's clearing out. And this is Sunday. Looks like we might have another front. Uh oh. And what's coming in for next week on Sunday? Looks like we may have a good chance for Orville to get wet. I don't know if it'll work that far in. Now this is Monday. Oh, it broke down. And this storm moved up. Still coming. Oh man. And it dies out again on Monday. Tuesday. Go all the way as far on Tuesday as we can go. And it peters out. And it looks like it's just going to be spotty showers. Which will take anything at this point. Because right now. Uh, uh, the Okefenokee Swamp that's on fire over here is up to 153,000 acres that have burnt now. It is definitely on fire and it's not going to go out until we get some rain. And we need some rain and for some reason we just ain't getting it. It's kind of odd. But hey. And then when we do, we'll get too much rain. But so, folks, like I said before, if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the little square box, put a check mark in it, so it'll light up. So with that, from my cold, dead hands, I abolish corporate government for your freedoms. Much love to y'all. Y'all all have a wonderful day and a wonderful night. And don't forget, we are a republic and we're not a democracy. That reminds me. No, that's okay. Y'all all have a wonderful day now, y'all here. And we'll talk soon.